Good morning, everyone. This is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to welcome you to our weekly tutorial. If you're watching this on Facebook Live, I'm a little bit early today. I found out yesterday that I needed to run down to Little Rock later this morning, so uh, we're on early. I'm going to give it just a second, see if anybody signs on. Uh, I've got new glasses that I... I have just for, you know, working at my desk. So maybe I can see when I'm coloring today, <laughs> if I can stay in the lines. So we're gonna give them a try. Um, yeah, keep your fingers crossed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flip you down and show you what we're gonna be. Which stand, whoop, that's the wrong one. You don't wanna see my, my ugly wall there behind my camera. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna flip this down. Whoa, that was fast. Okay. So this is the stamp set we're gonna work with today. Um, I had uh, a friend ask me if I would showcase this because she had re ordered the stamp set and she just wasn't sure what to do with it. So I sat down to play with it last night it's called From All of Us. This is in the new annual catalog. And it's it's designed to be like for group, you know, group cards. But it doesn't have to be. So I'm going to show you three cards. I have three different sizes uh, of cards. So I thought that would be kind of fun. And um, this one does require a lot of coloring. You don't have to color it all. But, you know, I... In, I feel like I have to color it. So, um... What I did, I started out with my big card. Let me show you. I did stamp it and color it last night only because it's a lot of coloring. Okay, I'm not the best colorer. So, uh, and I'll post measurements later today. And I'll run through the colors of blends that I use, plus I'll post them on my blog later uh, along with photos. So, for the turtle, I started out with uh, light soft sea foam for his head and legs. And then I went to dark soft sea foam for the inside of the shell and his toenails. And then I used soft succulent, the light shade, for his turtle spots. All right, then for the ostrich legs, neck, eyeballs, and the monkey face, I used the ivory. I think this is the ivory blend. I never used this, so I was really excited to use it on that. For the ostrich beak, I used um, the dark petal pink. I did use lots of blends today. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, now for the body, I, I had tried to sample using black and it was a little bit dark and you can't really see the details. So I ended up using a uh, dark smoky slate for the body and then light smoky slate for the tail. Then for the bear, I just used the dark Smoky slate for his nose, and then the rest of the bear I used dark crumb cake and then light crumb cake. Okay, very easy. I really didn't do any shading because this is kind of cartoony, so I didn't feel like it needed too much shading. Um, of course, you could shade to your heart's content. I'm not great at that, so I'm just going to stick with my cartoon look. And then for the monkey, I used, I think I used light. Um, soft suede okay and then of course the ivory for his face and then the dark smoky slate and a little bit of pumpkin pie for my toucan okay so those were the colors and i wanted to give you one quick tip i'm i'm going to use this um light soft sea foam to do a, just a little bit of shading to kind of ground the image so i'm just kind of going to go around the bottom very lightly for kind of a shadow right there. So it's it's probably one of the lightest shades we have and um, you could use a, a light crumb cake or you could use a light smoky slate. Uh, often I like to use the light soft sea foam. I don't know why, I just do. Okay, so let's bring in our other pieces. This is this is a very simple card, you guys. 
but it's super cute. So I decided to go with the turtle coloring. So I went with the soft sea foam card base. So let's get this folded in half. Find my phone folder there. And then I have a layer of the light soft suede, which goes well with all the browns in there. So let's adhere this to the mat. Okay, now hopefully pop that right in the center there. All right, so then I added a little, I'm gonna add a balloon because I mean, I tie it to my monkey's tail. I like to tie things to the tail. So I just used one of the small, smaller um, layering circles dies that I cut that out with and we're gonna stamp on it. Let's see, what are we gonna stamp? Uh, this has several sentiments, so I think I'm going to do, we think you're the best. Let's see if we can get this stamped on here. Okay. And then I think I'm going to stamp my inside before I glue anything because, uh, you know, always stamp before you glue, just in case you mess up. Then you can you can flip it over and try it again. Happy, happy birthday. And then I wanted from all of us. Let's do that. From all of us. Those are kind of angled, so I'm going to angle this one too. Then I don't have to get too particular about... Um, about... Um, <laughs> how straight it is. Oh my gosh. I can't think. My, I went into a brain fog there. Okay, so the inside's done. So let's finish the outside. So I want to make this into a balloon. So you, you make a circle into a balloon just by adding a little bit of string. So I'm going to use some of my linen thread. I'm just going to cut a piece off here, I think. And I'm going to use this needle. This is just kind of a big darning needle. And I need to, let's grab a piercing mat. I just have some paper wrapped around it. I'm going to sew this around my monkey's tail. So I'm going to start with making just a couple little, a couple little holes. Okay, get those poked in. Okay, so I'm going to need a string going from the top of my balloon. That should be plenty. Then I'm going to bring it back up on the bottom of the tail. Okay. Then I need to wrap it around the tail. Whoops, I've lost the end of my string. All right, let's try that again. I got to be careful not to pull that so hard. Are these glasses helping? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're helping yet. Uh, okay, I'm going to keep my thumb on that so I don't lose it. Okay, and then now we're going to wrap it around the tail. And that needs to come out from the bottom of the tail to hang down. Okay, now that's probably more thread than I needed, or yeah, more of the linen thread. But um, it's okay because we can trim off a little bit. I wanted to see if I could get it to kind of do a little curling thing. That kind of curls a little bit. All right, I'm gonna cut off a little and then a little off the top of that. All right, let's put our balloon on, make sure we have that space properly. So I'm gonna take a dimensional. I'm just gonna stick my string down with that dimensional. And then I'm gonna add a couple of these here. Okay. I'm going to have it just kind of floating up. I think I want a little extra. Let's see if we can get a little, make it a little looser there. Okay. So it's kind of bobbing, bobbing in the wind. I should remove the backing off of that. Okay. Cute. All right, we'll just leave that, and then I might trim that a little bit more. We'll see. 
Okay. I don't know why I have that strip. I don't need that. Okay, we're gonna just stick this on with a little bit of our stamp and seal. I did stick that on right. Okay, <laughs> make sure I didn't stick it on to the wrong side. Okay, I think I'm gonna trim that string just a little bit more. All right, perfect. Isn't that cute? Now you could glue that string down if you didn't want it. I feel like it when it goes in the envelope, it will it will press it down a little bit. Okay, so that's card number one. Now, when you look at the stamp set, there are one, two, three, four, five different animals, but we have three animals that are kind of out front, so they're not being covered. We can't, the turtle, half of him's missing. The bear's got all kinds of stuff in front of him, but we do have this ostrich, ostrich, oh, I can't say that, the monkey and the toucan, that are pretty much full animals and they're not missing any parts. So what I did was I, I um, stamped the whole image and then I cut out all three of those little guys. So here's my ostrich, my monkey, and my toucan. So I'm gonna save my toucan. He's gonna go on the last card. And I'm gonna use my ostrich and my monkey uh, to make um, my next card. So I'm using a note card, our note cards and envelopes. I love these things. You can mail them, they're quick, um, cute, love them. Okay, I am gonna color these real quick so you can kind of see, you know, it's not, it's not hard. I'm just using my light soft suede to color the monkey. And I, these uh, these images have fairly thick lines, so it's very easy to color or to cut right on the line and still have line left over. Do you know what I mean? So they still have a nice black outline. All right, I'm going to use ivory for his face. Okay, I'm not coloring the best, so I'm not sure that these glasses are working really well. It was, uh, it was a nice thought. I, I'm gonna do a little shading. I'm gonna bring in my dark soft suede just to do a little sh shading on the inside of my monkey legs here. Legs and arms, so you can tell which one's in the back. Uh, let's see. We'll see if we can blend it a little bit. Not a huge difference, but it, you can tell a little bit. All right, let's color our ostrich. We're gonna get our, our ivory back out and color his legs. So if you're not sure what colors to use, what I do is I go on and Google the animal and then I try to find the color that's the closest that matches it. So ivory one for the ostrich, but his beak's a little more pinky than his, his neck. So I used a different color for that. Then I'm going to use the dark smoky slate. I tried the light black and you couldn't see all the details, which made me sad. So we went with a little lighter shade. Now ostriches have partially black, partially white tails. So I'm gonna leave the tail white on this one. Okay, not done coloring yet, but what we're gonna do is I have a piece of Granny Apple Green just because it's light and bright and I really, really like this green. I'm gonna stamp on another piece. So this, this card is, I think it's three and a half by five, and I wanted a piece to stamp and color on so it doesn't leak through my card back. So this is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And we are gonna stamp a tree on it. So in this set, we have, you could use them as branches or as trees or as both. So I'm using the bigger one as a tree 
on this card. I'm going to stamp a tree, hopefully straight, up in the top left of that panel. Okay. And then I want to do a little hill. So I've cut this the same width, but it's, it's too tall. So I need to cut a hill. So let's see about where our tree ends. I'm not doing this by any type of measurements or science. I'm just going to go for it and cut a little hill. Let's hopefully we'll cover the bottom of our tree. Okay. Voila! See? Hill. Super quick. Okay. So now I'm going to color my tree. Let's just do a light crumb cake for the the branches because I, I don't want it too dark. I want this as my just kind of a background piece. So we're attempting to color with my new glasses. I don't know. I'm not sure they're working, but might just get some get might just take some getting used to. All right, I'm gonna now I'm gonna color the leaves with the light granny apple green. You could use light or dark. But I'm trying to keep this bright and cheery because it's gonna be a cute, funny card. Okay. I'm going cross-eyed, coloring these leaves. I'm not using my bigger tip because this light green ample green is on at the end of its lifespan because <laughs> I use it so much. And so my other tip is not coloring well, so I'm using the little tip. Little tip, and I've got that on my list to order this week. Okay, trees colored, time to put our hilt on. Well, I need to stamp it. I'm going to live dangerously now because now I've glued and before I stamped. Never a good thing. But it's done. So I'm going to do this as a thank you card. All right. And I'm not even going to put from all of us. It can just be from me. Thanks. Okay, I felt fairly confident I wouldn't mess that up. So I wasn't too worried. Okay, so... Let's put this on our card front. Okay. All right, so now what are we going to do with these guys? So you would think we might, you know, we could put them here or uh, that guy there for sure. But what I thought, because this monkey looks like it's hugging something. <laughs> I'm going to make this monkey hugging the, I just got to put this arm behind the ostrich's legs. This card remind me of my children so much that I texted one of them last night and I said, who does this remind you of? And, and she couldn't think. And I said, you're the monkey and who's the ostrich? And then after I said it, she got it. So the monkey is Samantha, my youngest, cause she is a hugger. And the ostrich is Katie because Katie does not like to be hugged. So when I saw the monkey hugging, I knew I had to do this card. Uh, let's see. I'm going to make sure on my dement, I'm popping these up that I get, get them both in there. So they're both secured pretty well. So that's a look that Katie would give if Samantha was hugging her. Just looking off saying, oh my gosh, when's this going to be over? <laughs> but the, hug, the monkey's hugging the ostrich to say thanks. I feel like he should be a little bit straighter. Let's see if we can straighten him up a little. Bring that piece back. Okay. Cute. Love it. Okay. So that's another thing you can do. I didn't cut these out on camera because they did take a few minutes to cut out. So just FYI, but it is worth it. Okay, so our last card 
is a little three by three. So this is a perfect gift card size to go with our three by three envelopes. I have a two and three quarter by two and three quarter mat of black and then a two and a half by two and a half layer of white on top. Okay, this is perfect for this little toucan guy because it's a small card and he's really small. So I'm going to do a happy birthday. Let me get my birthday out. All of my chamois are still downstairs. So I am just, in the meantime, making do with what I have up here to clean. I just need to go get another chamois out of my stash and keep it up here. Okay, I'm going the toucan. Let's color him real quick. I'm going to use the dark smoky slate. Now, I can't tell if this little thing's a smile. I think it's a smile. I don't know. I can't tell. But toucans have like a black body and tail for the most part. Then they have a little black tip on their nose. And a little black around the eye. Let's put a little strip there. Then they have kind of a white throat and then pumpkin pie on pumpkin pie or yellow on their beak. So I'm just going to color it real simple. All right, so we're going to stamp on here once again. So we don't stamp directly on the card if we're going to color with blends because it soaks through. So we don't want to do that. All right, let's get our small tree out. I've got it on the other side of this block. And let's well, let's stamp happy birthday first so we make sure we have enough room. So we're gonna go with pumpkin pie to do our happy birthday. I'm gonna do that in the bottom left. Now, and that's all I'm stamping in, in that color. Now we're gonna add our branch. And I want it coming off the paper with enough room to put my toucan there. Okay, and I think I'm just gonna leave it. Leave it at one branch. Okay, let's do a quick color on the branch. We'll get our light crumb cake once again. This is smaller. I'm just gonna use the small tip, I think. Feel a little safer with that. On this little teeny little teeny ones. Okay, let's get our light uh, green apple green. Okay, this has a few, a few less leaves on this one. Okay. All right, I think that's all the coloring. So let's adhere this to our black. And I'm not gonna put from all of us because this is a little gift card and you could just write your sentiment or whatever you wanna put there. So let's just adhere this. These things are everywhere. Okay. All right, let's pop up our little toucan. So tiny, we just need one. One mini dimensional to hold him on. Just kind of popped up on the tree. Maybe down just a little bit. He's a little too far up. Okay, that's better. All right, so we could leave it like that, or I have a few of these artistic adhesive, uh, self adhesive sequins, and I just want to add a couple because I feel like this one card needs a little bit of, a little bit of fun pop. Maybe put one down there just for some fun. Why not? And there you go. So three cards using this fun set. Uh, let's see. Where did my one go? There you go. So don't be afraid to, to, to stamp an image and then cut out part of it just to use on another card. Because, you know, if you use one of these, you could make three more cards or you could put them, you know, we could have put that toucan up there 
and use the three on one card. So uh, this is a nice big image, so you don't have to do a, a whole lot to this card. Um, just adding a balloon or a sentiment or something cute is really all you need. And then find some fun ways to use some of the other, some of the other characters. Okay. Uh, thanks everybody for stopping by today and uh, make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will also put the links to my blog with the measurements and dimensions. Um, measurements and supplies, sorry. Measurements are dimensions. <laughs> measurements and supplies in my blog uh, later on today. So thanks again and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.